Hi guys, I hope everyone's well. Merry Christmas. Hope you're all are healthy and have a nice day tomorrow. Right, here we go. Long, long overdue. A lot of volatility in Bitcoin. Shame YouTube the bastards took all of my damn videos down where I said Bitcoin was going to hit 20,000 or something was going to happen. Um, yeah, that must have got 70,000 views before they took it down. They also took down um, supposed copyright uh, video which I did and they also took down psychology of trading which as you know I'm still selling that PDF so if anyone's interested let me know um, get in touch with me on the email um, right here we go here we go a lot of you guys worried as was I okay so I keep on saying hashtag hashtag TRP you must take regular profits okay this bubble could collapse at any time um, if it's not already doing so right now in front of our eyes, which I don't think it is, but we'll get on to that in a minute. Um, you must take regular profits. Like a, a lot of you guys made a lot of money in Verge, and just take regular profits. So if you start off with 10k, at least take out the house money. At least take out your 10k once you've made it. Therefore, you don't really give a shit what happens after that because you took out your your profits. And um, I know a lot of you guys have got a lot of liability. So this is why I always say take regular profits. This is a very, very volatile market. You'll never see anything other than penny stocks move like this. Um, this is just ridiculous. I mean, some of the RSI levels that we were seeing here, you'll never see this kind of, these these kind of numbers and a MACD of, you know, 21, 2,500, whatever. Um, you'll just never see this anywhere else. So this is definitely a once in a lifetime opportunity with these cryptocurrencies, okay? Um, the average age of my own is between 25 and 34, so likely none of you took part in the tech boom, slash remember the tech boom, this is just like that. Um, now the question is, is this, the, is this the crash that I've been predicting? So as much as I want to be right, um, it did hit 20,000. To be honest, the timing of this did get me, even I wasn't prepared for that. I thought this was gonna happen in the new year. Now, um, it's interesting, isn't it? Very interesting. Okay, so yeah, please take regular profits. Okay, nothing is one hundred percent certain. So, at least take out your house money, and then any anything after that, at least you're only trading with profit. Okay, the last thing you want to do on the quest to becoming millionaires from from this crap is um, to become broke. Okay, so this is this is, this is going to take a while. So, initially, from the count which I had it, I had it as a um, this was the top of what well, th this was the four. I had it initially like this, yeah. Hence the twenty thousand crash. Oh my God, we're all gonna die. Now, as much as I li I, li I like to be right, um, and I do. Um, I since well later on I did re rejig this count a little bit. I knew there was a lot of volatility at twenty thousand. I just knew that there was so much mathematical resistance up here and the way that it moved with the contracts and the CME I mean look at what this well, just look at this I told you they were, they were sharks um, CBOE was just nothing it's the CME which basically run the world so um, man they made a lot of money on this I mean they were taking 100 to 1 leverage on that so what kind of percentage has that dropped oof 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 someone's made a lot of money on those shorts anyway the question is um, are they still going to make money is it going to go lower so I've got five probably up here now uh, and then obviously you know you you can break this count this 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 video is gonna gonna take a while this is gonna take a while obviously you you know uh what's going on here um obviously this 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 count itself can be broken up into um you know a one two three four five yeah so that's that's obviously on a minor level so whatever call it minor minuet well whatever whatever so um actually technically three was here and i'll tell and i'll tell you why so five so technically three was there five was there four is somewhere here okay so that's my count okay so let's hope i was wrong and it's not the crash okay because that would that would be a shame let's be honest you know just before christmas and these bastards are gonna crash this shit just before Christmas, that's not a nice thing. Um, as bad as these Wall Street punks are, then they're, they're not that bad. Um, um, so basically, if we say blah blah blah, one, two, three, four, five, um, I can't really count five waves into here. Um, I have seen Bitcoin make these really weird 
ending diagonals and three waves which look like five waves and you know you could actually wait a minute um, BTC oh God, this video is gonna take a while okay bit stomp bit stomp bit stomp bit stomp okay I am on bit stomp that's weird I wanna use bit phoenix yeah so this is where all my diagrams are yeah, see, that's that's weird. That's a lower low there. That's funny how they do that. Man, I spent all that time taking all those damn annotations off. Yeah, one, two. That's obviously corrective. This doesn't look like a five-wave pattern. Um, so, basically, this could be an expanded flat. Um, so, technically, your wave three... Um, sorry, yeah, you, 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 your five waves actually finished here, so that's an A wave, this is now a B wave, it's now a C wave, okay, so that's that's the only other count that makes sense, yeah, um, you know, unfortunately technical analysis isn't 100%, but it's a lot more accurate than this McAfee guy, who the hell is this McAfee guy, um, to my understanding, he used to make antiviral software, I mean, was well, that something that I've missed, um, sending out random tweets and getting people to buy stuff, um, Someone could tell me who the hell he is, because I, the only McAfee I know makes antiviral software. Maybe it's the same guy. Who knows? Um, don't know what he's playing at though. Um, pumping these stocks and getting poor people to buy. Okay, so um, that's one count. Yeah, A, B, C. So um, expanded flat is, as we know, it's where the B wave goes higher than the A wave. I mean, sorry, than than the zero, and C wave goes to the bottom. If it was a running flat, it would end up here. Um, you know that's that's one possibility okay if you wanted to I'm sure you could blag a five wave pattern out of this I can't to my eyes and if it doesn't look good on first impression it just it's not five waves but I suppose you could say a really shitty one two three four five in which case that's five in which case we're gonna be in for some trouble here because then that's the top of five hence the only explanation for all this crap going down is a really giant a whatever some kind of B or something and then it's obviously going to go a lot lot lower so hopefully that's not the case because if that is it's going to end up very low um, but I don't think that's the case okay so let's work with an ABC yeah okay <clears throat> told you guys to take regular profits I told you guys to take regular profits Hopefully I'll be able to do these videos up until January 31st, after which point I'm not sure what I'll be doing. Um, so you'll miss me when I'm gone, I'm sure. Uh, anyway, what do we have up here? XVG. Yeah. Okay, so basically, yeah. Do you see how this 50 EMA on the 4 hourly just tracks the price up? Beautiful line. If there's any line you're going to stick on your damn charts, it's the 50 EMA. Amazing. Amazing, isn't it? Anyway, um, right. So if we say this is an ABC, the way to project is to use this thingy here. Um, where's it gone? This better be recording because I've spoken for a while now. So basically, what you do, you take this, yeah, you take it to here. So take it to there. So B wave was 1.6 of A, which is fine. And then you project it from. Here now, two isn't really a fib. Um, so basically, this C wave, theoretically, statistically, and technically, could go as low as this number here, eight two two six, whatever. Um, and that basically implies that the C wave is going to be one two point six one eight off the A wave. Okay, the B wave was one point six one eight. So that's how you draw your distance. Now I've seen this a lot of the times. As you can see, it's gone through the one point six one eight. And it's hit the two. I suppose two, you could argue. So that's one possible count. Now, the question is that everyone's wondering, as am I, um, and no one's hundred percent. No one's hundred percent on this. If that's an ABC expanded flat, for it to finish here is a little bit strange. A little bit strange. Two is not a number, really. I suppose it can be, but 1.618 was here. Why has it gone and finished here? This is not a fib level either. Um, so is this the bottom? Is this now the star? Is this wave four done? And is it now going to go up towards wave five, towards 25, 30,000, or whatever? So 
the question is the only way to really deduce that is to look in and this 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 is really really strange so if you look here I mean once again it's it's trying to figure out whether this this is a three wave or a five wave impulse okay you know you could argue it's a one two three four and an ending diagonal fifth wave or you could argue the whole thing is a bloody diagonal um, it's, it's I mean it's just it's just impossible to tell because I've seen Bitcoin do this I've seen Bitcoin make these really weird ending diagonal three wave overlappy wave ones I've seen it doing it I've seen it done it before um, it's, do, it's does it a lot of the time um, so really the only way of knowing Bitcoin's fate is just to watch it over the next couple of hours or so maybe until midnight once once the Asian traders wake up and they will be trading in the next four hours or so we'll then know a lot more um, as I said Fibonacci wise I, it doesn't really fit so if we say this whole move is a 1 and this is a 2 it's hit the 78.6 alright which is fine and this does look a little bit corrective but once again you could argue all of this is just impulsive going down and it's going to go low to make its fifth the fifth leg off a, off a C leg so it's very very difficult and to be honest I'm 50 50 um, been asked this question multiple times over the last 48 hours and to be honest everyone's thinking the same a lot of YouTube analysts or whatever it's very difficult to make a count out of this and none of you guys um, none, of you, none, of you, none of you guys can do it okay and McAfee Whoever that dickhead is ain't, ain't gonna figure it out. It's just very, very difficult. Now, obviously, if it breaks, if it breaks this, yeah, if it breaks fifteen thousand, whatever, it must be, it must be impulsive because then you could imply that this is somehow the bottom. This is somehow some kind of weird ending diagonal, A B C D E wave one. This is all a two, and then obviously three is going to be high. So the minute it breaks this you know you're in a and that's obviously you, you know you're in the next trend in which case it's best to jump back on again however you know this is just so difficult it's just so difficult um, if that's not a two then you know so yeah so that's this is one possible count one this is all a two now it's setting up in a one two the problem is look at all this red volume coming in here yeah if we're saying that this is the bottom of two, which happened at 12 o'clock UK time, um, 11.57, this is still quite red volume here, so we need this to start impulsing up. And if it does, and frankly, it doesn't even need to break this high, you could probably argue, You, I mean, I suppose you could argue, even if it breaks 13.810, um, Elliot allows you to do that. Um, you can call, you can get in a lot sooner with Elliot. So I would say any break above 13,810 is definitely impulsive because then that implies we've had some one two one two three pattern and it must be up um, because then the other count is that this is um, the other count let me just get this out of the way the other count is that this is just an impulsive five wave leg down and it's just getting ready so one two one two one two it's just going to keep on going down and break this low here so we're in no man's land um, it's 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 really strange what's going on here this is really strange all the volatility has completely dried up it's Christmas none of the, none of the volume makes any sense I suppose we're just gonna have to wait um, but any break above 13 8 10 it almost must be impulsive because I mean unless you've got a 1 2 3 4 5 and now it's gonna do an ABC up I mean this is just so difficult Let's put that down there. So let's say all oh, this is wave one of the wave down. This is now an A, B, C. 61.8 is here, but we know wave two can retrace above all the way up to here. But then again, 13, 8, 10 is still there. So yeah, I think to be on the safe side, to be on the absolute safe side, any break above this high here, 49.59, is definitely bullish. Any break above 13, 799 is also probably bullish okay but what we don't want is all of this being a wave one this being an ABC it triggers our buy order um, and then it comes down in a three four five so that's why I'm just saying you're just gonna have to be careful there's 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 no way around this um, by the time all the UK guys get up tomorrow morning this correction would have somehow cleared itself and clearly if it breaks below this low here is definitely bearish in which case you're gonna get 
a lot lower uh, prices. So unfortunately, this is one of those times where actually cash is king, um, and and you know this is why I say take regular profits, have cash on the side because we're in no man's land here. None of this makes any sense. The volume's completely dried up. I've seen Bitcoin do three waves that look like five waves, and then five waves that look like three waves. Unfortunately, it's not quite accurate. But as I said, the, the summary is any break above fourteen nine eight three is definitely bullish, hundred percent. Any break above. 13808 is most likely bullish most likely but it might not be and then any break above here is definitely bearish so unfortunately we're in no man's land as you can see some volume is coming in as i speak right now and you know it's it's just that is that is what it is there's just nothing else to be said it's not quite clear and clearly all the altcoins are following what bitcoin's doing so you know there's no harm in taking some risk off the table this pattern is going to correct itself at some point over the next 24 hours i reckon we're going to know one way or the other obviously if bitcoin goes down it's likely to take some of the altcoins with it i think the altcoins heavily sold off yesterday and um a few of them were at bargain prices i can't see the altcoins reaching those kind of prices again personally um if you just take litecoin for example on coinbase I mean, Litecoin hit 142. I mean, come on. Come on. I mean, really? Do you really think Litecoin's going to go all the way down here? Really? I don't think so. I don't I don't think so. Even if Bitcoin dumps. Another 45%. I don't think so. So, you know, maybe Litecoin and things like Ethereum are probably safer bets. Um, probably safer bets. So, this is where risk management really comes into the portfolio. Um, so, yeah, you know, we're getting some getting some volume here. You know, is it is it all just you know? Is this the actual bottom? Is all that a one ending diagonal one? Is all this just an A B C down? And I was making a one two. Now it's going to go higher. Who knows? Who knows? Um, but as I said, any break above thirteen eighty eight four two, and certainly any break above here, and we're back on way four is done. If not, we're coming back down in a way five. So, um, that's my count on on you know bitcoin whatever yeah so obviously you've got this very obvious head and shoulders pattern which even the crappiest analysts have seen mentioning no names there's plenty of them um you know take that target add it onto here you you will get around here 8000 whatever um and obviously we've we've drawn our projected fibonacci extensions yeah um How's that come to seven seven four two? How's that happen? That's not right. Um, maybe because I did, did it on Bitstamp. I, I I don't get why the why it's different on the exchanges. I I don't get why it's such a big discrepancy. So you take that from there to there. That's weird. It was more than that before. Yeah, that's better. So eight thousand two hundred and eight, whatever. And as you can see, that that coincides with this rising blue line, which comes up. And then the the final thing to say is just to draw some, um, some Fibonacci. So that's the rising trend line from here. Yeah, um, this is the rising trend line on the um, that I've had ever since there. So, um, you know, drawing your Fibonacci's. Um, for all you traders out there, just just you know, bear in mind when you're drawing your Fibonacci's, make sure you start from obviously the bottom of the waves but wave five didn't finish here yeah sorry wave five of wave three finished here right because that's an abc expanded flat so i've noticed a lot of you guys are sending me videos or whatever we're doing skype tutorials and you're drawing the retracements wrong because that wave wave five or wave three didn't didn't finish here at all this is all an abc so you have to actually add it here okay so as you can see it's gone through the 38.2 the next one is 10,000 psychological figure and then we've got this 8,400 again which coincides with our 8,200 so quite possibly Bitcoin is going to find some support at this level and that's definitely a good buy like you know that is this is definitely a good buy because for all of you guys who missed and got into the FOMO that's a good time to buy because by that time um, this RSI is going to be oversold. I mean, this RSI is at what 40 right now. We need 30 to get oversold, and as you can see here, it was oversold, oversold, bounce, oversold. Well, here didn't really get down enough, but 
you know, and that will allow enough time for the MACD to just chill out, the RSI to chill out. And then maybe in the new year, maybe the whole, in, the whole of this next week coming is just going to be pissing about. And then the whole of the new year, once the hedge funds rotate their portfolios in the third and fourth, we're going to see an influx of money. And then that'll be the end of wave four. And then we're going to go higher. So there's no point even projecting higher totals here. Um, you know, and if 20,000 does turn out to be the top, then obviously I was right and you all owe me um, something. So um, anyway, it's not about being right, <clears throat> even though it was. Um, so yeah, that's 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 the count. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the count. Um, so yeah, you know, we're kind of in no man's land really. There's just nothing else to be said. There's also a rising trend line here which I had, um, and that was why it bounced off this sort of line. Um, yeah, so it kind of bounced off this line here, whatever. Yeah, so um, you know, it needs to. It's obviously, I mean, it's probably going to retest this line at some point. It's going to test a few, and then it's going to break all the way through. And then this, this has to hold, really. <laughs> this really has to hold, because if this doesn't hold, um, we're going to have a few issues, really. And, you know, we're going to have a few issues, because then it's probably going to go lower. And the ultimate last support is going to be this high here of 5,000. Um, and the minute it breaks 5,000, it's, you know, it's just, that's it, it's done, it's done. So, I can't see this happening, this is the most bearish situation, okay. Um, initially, I did have this as a, as the top of our wave 5, but I don't think we're there yet. I think this is a, just a bit of a shakeout to get rid of the weak hands, the idiots who bought in two weeks ago, unfortunately, manipulated by the media. Um, shame that psychology of trading video is not up still, really. Um... But yeah, you know, if you want to buy the PDF, let me know. So that's that's what we're looking at, really. So unfortunately, not a lot of not a lot of you know analysis as such. There, I'm just giving you the price targets and how we're working those out. Um, I really do hope this bubble's not over because you know it'd be a bit of a shame, really. Um, and as you can see, some volumes coming in now. So by the time this video goes out quite possibly it will break this high and if it does you just jump back into the old coins where we're gonna start having a party in the old coins um, so yeah let's wait and see let's wait and see nothing is 100% but this is definitely as, as accurate as you're gonna get in terms of analysis uh, fundamentals and media this this McAfee dickhead it's just there to um, manipulate your minds really so I hope this video finds you guys well Okay, a bit of volume coming in. This is really strange. Where the hell has this come from? Maybe that's all the Asians getting up now and trading. So let's hope Bitcoin continues to go up and then we can start projecting what the higher totals are. I'm not even going to bother projecting them yet. I just need to confirm that 20,000 wasn't the actual top. Um, so, yeah, that's a long video. Long video. I won't go into any of the old coins, but if you guys are interested, I do have a tip. Um, sign up to my weekly subscription and I'll be able to send you that tip today I think it's going to do a verge and you know how much verge went up so if you guys are interested sign up the description has the subscription link so yeah let's see what Bitcoin does I reckon in the next 24 hours we'll know a lot more and um, we'll take things from there Merry Christmas <laughs>